Begin in Kaduna State, where seven more passengers who were abducted by armed terrorists during the March the 28th attack on the Kaduna boundary have regained freedom 103 days after. Mamu Taku, the media aide to Islamic cleric Ahmed Gumi, says this was facilitated by his principal. The freed victims uh, who were recently uh, reunited with their families also uh, spoke with TVC News Liberasam. We have details in this report. We are very thankful to the candidate, the experience, Dr. Hassan Zulid is one of the seven abducted train passengers who just regained freedom Saturday night. Their release from captivity comes 25 days after the first batch of 11 victims were freed. Having spent 103 days in the forest under terrible conditions, it could be clearly seen that most of them are in need of medical attention. Mr. Candidate, we went through tormenting a lot of things that I don't think that can use it on the, I mean, on social media for now. But by God's grace, I pray to overcome this unfortunate development. Not so much could be gathered about the situation surrounding their rescue. But Mamu Tuku, the media aide to Sheikh Ahmed Gumi revealed he was instrumental. Among those freed is the son of the chairman of the Northern Elders Forum, Angu Abdullahi, and a Pakistan national. At least 43 others still languish in captivity, including an 85-year-old grandmother. Their family members have been holding series of protests to mount pressure on the government and security agencies. Meanwhile, Dr. Hassan Sule and others who returned on Saturday have now reunited with their families. But the relatives of those in captivity still pray and hope for a miracle as soon as possible. Lupe Asom, TVC News, Kaduna.